Amazing to be back here at Selwick Park. Legend, thanks man. My bum's hurting. Never thought I'd say that on this channel. Also, you could win some stuff, which I'm about to buy. Wow, look at this. Shorts are on, t-shirts on, tunes are on, everything's on, the sun is out, and uh, yeah, the sweet smell of sun cream is something that I've not had in my nostrils for a while, so I'm absolutely buzzing for today. Well, um, I've done a lot of exploring cities and football stadiums before, um, by foot, by running, by walking, that kind of stuff, but today I'm gonna be doing it in a different way. We're gonna be cycling around Glasgow. They are bikes that you can hire. So yeah, first off, we've got to try and find some, but before that, we need to get some supplies. How are you? Yeah. See you later. Cheers. Right, here we go. This is what you want to look for. Look, Ibrox, next bike. Boom, Ibrox is just up there. Let's try and which one of these looks like a trusty steed. I reckon this here, to be honest. Let's find out how we do this. Hang on. Oi. Okay. Not done this for a while, but it's probably just like riding a bike, isn't it? Hey, look at this! This is class, boys! Wee! Right, we need to change gear, but I'm holding the GoPro with this. And look at my legs going. I need to move up a gear, but we are coming up to Ibrox, so we'll give the uh, give the trusty steed a quick look over when we get here. Hang on. What a day, honestly! Tunes are on. Sun is out. I'm on the old trusty steed. Wow, look, they're making arrangements to the new Edmonton house. They got these new fences up. These weren't here last time. Right, I'm gonna get around the front of Ibrox. Get the old thumbnail around there. Legend, thanks man, that should be good. Pleasure, mate. There we go, obligatory thumbnail outside of the uh, club shop. Look at this beauty. Got to do a full lap of Ibrox first. Wow, what a day we're gonna have. Oh, this has just opened up a whole new String of video ideas for me, this. Cycling through cities, especially as it's getting nicer now. Oh, this is unreal. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Risking life and limb for vlogging while cycling. If we're not allowed in here, because they are relaying the pitch, I did think that, but yeah, just thought I'd uh, come around this side, see every side of Ibrox. Right, let's head into the city and then Surrey Park. Just updated my Insta story. Do remember that, yeah, whenever I come and film my vlogs, I do usually update on Insta what I'm doing. So if you want to find out more about where I am, what I'm doing, then follow me on Instagram. All that stuff's always in the description box below. Pulled over because, uh, yeah, updating my story. Put a song on there and it stopped my, stopped the old hip hop 90s playlist on uh, Spotify. But yeah, um, yeah, follow me on Instagram. But I also will take this chance while I'm stopped here just to quickly tell you about um, my canvases that are now on sale. They were backed by popular demand, uh, Rangers fans, amazing thank you so much for buying the first 20 that i did of the champions canvases there was a few of you out there who didn't get them in time they sold out and um yeah they are now available again so there are five big ones five little ones rangers there are five celtic ones as well so any celtic fans watching there's a medium celtic version there's five kelty hearts the um medium ones as well so yeah they'll all be linked below and from buying one it supports my channel so much and every single one i send a handwritten letter to as well a handwritten note just to say thanks and um one person who buys one of the five big Rangers ones will also receive some stuff from the club shop worth like 10 15 quid something like that um, that'll be slipped in the package so you won't know if it's you but if you buy one of the big Rangers ones then yes you will potentially win something from the club shop one out of five uh, chance you have of that so yeah they'll all be linked below thank you so much to everyone who's already bought one it means the world to me but yeah you can buy them now all linked below cheers <laughs> Look 
this, the first stop that I wanted to show you. It's been about 11 months, getting on for a year that I made my first Rangers and Celtic video. I ran through the city post the first lockdown and look here, yeah, behind me is the Armadillo. I think, is this us STV building? I swear the BBC building's around here somewhere. I'll be over there somewhere. And then this big crane thing here, what stadium does that remind you of? That I've been to a few times from the outside, never been inside. There's a stadium that has a crane behind it. 10 points to anyone in the comments who can, uh, who can tell me what it is. And here we go, Squinty Bridge. Scenes when the Rangers fans were here after they'd won the league. Um, got renamed the Bouncy Bridge for a little bit, of course. But uh, yeah, Squinty Bridge, famous here in Glasgow, a famous landmark. Let's crack on through the city. Here we are now coming up to the Glasgow 2014 Commonwealth Games, little monument thing here in Glasgow Green. And uh, yeah, Glasgow Green has annoyed me lately. Let me stop somewhere and I'll tell you why. Oh, knackering that is. Good fun, good workout. Wow, that is absolutely knackering, but fair play to the old girl for getting me here. I'm gonna have to give her a name, I reckon. The old trusty steed, trusty Trudy, here she is. What a girl. The only thing I'd say about Trudy is that she hasn't got, from what I can work out, here's the gears, obviously. One to seven, seven speed. Trudy don't mess around. But then I can't find a bell, I don't think. Uh, hey! Go on, Trudy, you found your voice, girl. There she is, a few people in my way earlier. Had to do the old excuse me. But yeah, as you can see around here, look, there is a uh, yeah big old fence keeping people out of big parts of Glasgow Green because this is where the fan park's gonna be for the Euros. And I got up the other day, saw online that tickets would be available on a certain day. I went onto the website where they were selling the tickets and I bought them. That was at seven o'clock in the morning. I like to get up early, send a few emails, of course, and I bought my tickets and uh, it apparently, it apparently was actually advertised elsewhere to men go on sale at 10 a.m. So to everyone who bought tickets before 10 a.m., even on the website that I saw, it didn't say anything about 10 a.m. It just said the actual date that they had gone on sale. I obviously got mine for the uh, Czech Republic game, Scotland Czech Republic, the first game Scotland had back. I was going to make an incredible vlog at a table for six people. I was going to invite some of you guys, some subscribers. And uh, yeah, got an email a few days later saying that my tickets, as well as everyone else's who had bought them before 10 a.m., would now go back on sale, even though it was free, not sale, but go back up for people to buy on a ballot or to get on a ballot and uh yeah so i've basically lost my tickets there's now going to be less spaces available for more people who want them so whoever it is the glasgow council or uefa or whoever it is whoever sorted that out can absolutely f off they've um absolutely ruined some of my plans for the euros but if you if you have any plans for the euros let me know what you guys are doing below if you want me to come to anything i'm more than open to ideas um if you've got anything going on i might even plan something where i can bring some of you guys along i'm not sure yet there's a couple of things in the works so leave it with me and i'll see what i can do but yeah i'm looking to make as much content around the euros as possible so if you've got any suggestions for me or if you want me to come to anything that you're going to let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to get there. So me and Trudy are going to chill here for a bit, get my Twix and then I believe Celtic Park is somewhere that way. But yeah, what a day. This is an immense idea. I love this old girl. What a beauty. Celtic Park is just coming up now. 
I love the way that Celtic have got a European Cup, but Rangers have more league titles. It's just kind of poetic. No one knows who the biggest one are. They're, who the biggest one is, rather. They're both just as big as each other. They're two huge clubs. And I can't wait till I can actually go to games at both of them. I've been told so many times about the atmosphere. It's been too long, but yeah, the Celtic Stadium tours still aren't even back up and running yet. So got to wait for them to start. But as soon as they do, I'm going straight in there for a video. Luckily, I've been here before and done enough filming of the front with all the statues and stuff. There's so many people here today checking out Celtic Park, Park Heath. Let's see if we can uh, cycle all the way around like we couldn't do at Ibrox. Let's go this way. What an amazing stadium, unreal to look at. Been in once for the restaurant, and I've said that a few times to regular viewers when I've seen that video before, but I cannot wait for the day that the stadium tours restart. I can actually watch a game here, like I say. It's been so long. Here he is, Jockstein. Made a Jockstein vid before. Here's the Jockstein stand. I've made so many videos from the outside of this place. And Celtic have obviously had a tough season. And uh, yeah, no silverware to speak of. Which is a real big shock to see such a big team like this, but maybe the pressure of the nine in a row, 10 in a row thing. I'm not sure, I tried to look at it in a balanced way. But yeah, myself and Ryan Fitzsimons, Ryan118 on YouTube, check him out. Try, uh, we made a video here about the appointment of Eddie Howe. It looked certain to happen. The uh, day that we filmed that video, yeah, the day before, Eddie Howe was spotted coming out of a Mercedes, a blacked out Mercedes or whatever at the front. And uh, seemed destined for the job. And we made a whole video about how Eddie Howe was gonna be the man to take Celtic back to where they belong. But that obviously wasn't to be. Bit of a big summer on their hands to try and bring some players in to help compete for the title again next season. Paradise. She is Trudy getting me here. Good old girl. Sad thing about, you know, falling in love with Trudy is the thought of the amount of other people that have ridden her makes me sad, but yeah, look, here we go. Some of the legends up here. There's Lisbon Lions, there's Henrik Larsson, there's modern day heroes, there's John Hartson. Ah, oh, just a plethora of stars that Celtic have had. Scottish football really is amazing. You guys know how much I love it. Yeah, what a day. Do you remember to hit that like button? Amazing to be back here at Selwick Park. And look, when the paths are too full, you know Trudy will get you there, even off-road. Look at her go. Go on. My bum's hurting. Never thought I'd say that on this channel. Look, there is a big mural up there of one of Scotland's greatest entertainers. There he is. And we're seeing some amazing sights here today. Glasgow Green, a few landmarks. Down at the Armadillo and Squinty Bridge, we've seen some football clubs and now Billy Connolly. This day just doesn't get any better, does it? Right, we've been on her for two hours, 26 minutes. That's return bike. To return bike, like, press down on the lever or frame lock. Update your app to make sure that you've finished the rental. Hang on, let's wipe that on there. Beep, oh, understood. Bike returned. Oh, Trudy, I'm gonna miss you. You have been a trusty steed to me. A huge thanks. And I'm gonna leave her here, look at that. Outside of Ibrox. I'm just gonna go into the club shop now to buy the stuff for the person who buys one of the large Rangers canvases. Remember, there's only five out there, so they are linked in the description box below. Once they're gone, they're gone. They may never come back. So yeah, um, also you could win some stuff, which I'm about to buy. Cheers. 
Let's see you later. The uh, merch is in the bag. I spent about 11, 12 quid, something like that. So yeah, for anyone who wants to purchase one of the large canvases, then you will receive this stuff as well. And everyone who buys any canvas of any kind, Ranger, Celtic, big or small, you will receive a handwritten note as well. And uh, yeah, they're all packaged nicely. You get free hanging kits, free postage as well. So yeah, really appreciate it. And it really, really does support my channel. I don't know if you can see me in here, so dark, but yeah, back where we started now at Ibrox. Um, absolutely buzzing what a day it's been actually tremendous i didn't realize how fun and good this would be i'm gonna have to do a part two no matter if you request it in the comments or not i'm doing it please do remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new just for my uh, sore bum uh, again i thought i'd never say that i've got a sore ass on my channel so please do subscribe to see more sore bums thank you so much for watching i'll leave some videos around my head so you can keep watching my content from me here at ibrox thank you and goodbye